We're now going to um, balance equations and then predict what's going to be formed. So if you look at this practice problem here, this is the way it's going to appear on an exam. We're just given in words, we're not given the formulas, we're given words of the two reactants, and then we have to predict what's going to be formed, and then write out the products and balance it. So, in order to do this, we really need to know what kind of reaction this is. And you may not be able to decide that, but just by looking at the name. So we're going to write out the formulas. So first we're going to write out H2SO4 for the sulfuric acid. That's aqueous. By the way, now that it's aqueous, we know there's water present. And we got that from the acid. And we're going to add that to aluminum hydroxide. And you remember hydroxide, that's a base. But this particular compound is not soluble. So aluminum hydroxide is an insoluble hydroxide. Nevertheless, this is going to act like an acid-base reaction. And you should remember then that the reaction type is this is going to be double replacement. We're going to, we're going to switch uh, last names here. And since it's an acid-base reaction, it's a special kind of double replacement. It's neutralization. Well, what are we going to get? Well, we're going to get water, because that's what forms when an acid reacts with a base. That's going to be a liquid. And we're going to get some salt. So the aluminum is going to go with the sulfate. You need to remember that aluminum is plus 3 and sulfate is minus 2. So we're going to need 3 sulfates. That's going to give us a minus 6 total. And we'll need 2 aluminums in this formula. That'll give us a plus 6. This is soluble. So we're going to write aqueous there. And now we need to balance it. But you can see how did we predict what was going to be formed? We knew this was double replacement. Once we wrote out the formulas of the two compounds, we could see they're going to switch partners, switch last names here as, as they did and form those products. And that's double replacement. Now we need to balance this. If I just start with aluminum, that looks like an easy thing to start with. I need two aluminums over here. So I'm going to put a 2 here. Now this may not work out to be balanced, but we'll see. And then I'm going to go with sulfate. I've got 3, and I need 3 over here. So um, I've got 3 sulfates on each side, 2 aluminums on each side. Let's look at hydrogen. Here I have 6 hydrogen, and here I have 6 hydrogen. So that's a total of 12 hydrogens. Is it possible to get 12 over here? Yeah, if I put a 6 right here, now I've got 12 hydrogens. And um, let's look at oxygen. Now we're not going to look at the oxygens and the sulfate because sulfate didn't change. We treated that as one thing. So I have 6 oxygens over here. And if you look on the left, 2 times 3 is 6 oxygens. So this equation now is balanced. 